Hello guys, welcome to the GC Math Panel Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2021, paper three. Please guys, make sure you give your likes, you subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. And the complete uh, paper is found at our blog at www.gcmathpanel.blogspot.com and you can find the video description below this video. We begin with the first question. A particle P of unit mass is moving on a horizontal plane under the action of a force F at time T seconds, where F equals that. Given that P passes through a point A with velocity 11i plus 10j j meters per second after three seconds, find the acceleration of P at time T. So the first thing we have to look for here is the acceleration of the particle. And we have been told in this question that the particle has unit mass. Unit mass means uh, in SI units, it's just one. So we know that acceleration can be given as force divided by mass or is the force per unit mass. So this will give us the same value because this force divided by one gives us uh, the same. Uh, next, the B part of the equation says if you find the velocity of P at any given time T. So to find the velocity from acceleration, what are we supposed to do? We have to do integration. So velocity is the integral of acceleration. So when we integrate this, we are going to have integrating the I components. We have three T squared minus four T dx I uh, plus 60 minus five dx G. We integrate, uh, that will give us a t cubed uh, minus four t squared on two, so minus two t squared, plus a constant for this i component, that is call it k1. Then for the j component, we have uh, six t squared on two, that gives us three t squared, minus five t plus a constant for j, call this k2. But you have been told that at t equals three seconds, the velocity of the particle is equal to 11i plus 10j. So we are going to use this idea to find the constants k1 and k2. So substituting t equals three in this uh, equation of v, we have a k1 to be equal to 12 and k2 to be equal to minus two. So these are the values of k1 and k2. Therefore, the velocity of this particle at any time will be given by t cubed minus 2t squared plus 12i plus 3t t squared minus 5t minus 2j meters per second. Uh, this gives us the velocity of this particle at any given time t. For the c part, we are to look for the kinetic energy of the particle p when it is moving parallel to the vector i, when it's moving parallel to the vector i. So when the particle is moving parallel to the vector i, what does this imply? So when it's moving parallel to the vector i, it means the j component is estimated to be equal to zero or the j component is equal to zero. So therefore means what we are going to consider here is just the i component. So the velocity will just be equal to the I component. From here, we just copy and paste, okay? Now, we know kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. And here, uh, they have not given us the time interval. So we'll just work with what we have here. This particle has a unit mass. So we have half times one, which is a half into this J component squared, okay? So what will this give us? This will give us half into t cubed minus two t squared plus 12, uh, all of that squared joules. So this energy is going to be in joules. If they told us the time, then we can substitute for t uh, and we have a value of um, kinetic energy. Uh, the last part of the equation, d reads another particle q moves in the same straight path as P with velocity 3i plus 4j meters per second. Determine the, uh, the velocity of P relative to Q 
at t equals two. So for the relative velocity of uh, p with respect to q, uh, it is given by vq minus vp. So this will give us at t equals two. So we have vq three i plus four j is minus twelve i. Uh, this will give us minus nine i plus four j meter per second. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notifications. Don't forget to share our videos with your friends. And that is going to be the way you encourage us to make more videos. I would like to equally see your comments on some of the videos you would like us to make. So that we work on, I know at times we may delay, but it's very important to put those comments because from these comments, we know what you actually need and how we can help you get there because that's our job here to promote mathematics and other subjects and make sure that before you get to your examination room, you are well prepared and confident of yourself. So guys, don't uh, forget to get the remaining part of this question by on your phone, you click, if you look at the, below this video on your phone, you see this link here. You see this arrow that is pointing down, right? Yeah, it's like greater than that is pointing down. You click there. When you click down, this uh, part will appear. So when you click that on that part, this part is going to appear. You now move down to this link, which I've highlighted, this link. You now click to this link and it will bring you to our web page. Here, you are going to see the remaining questions from question two to question eight. And of course, uh, still below that part, if you scroll down, like in step three, if you scroll down, you see many other uh, videos which you can see the corrections and so on. And you can equally help yourself with notes. We equally beg on you to share out this material, to share on the different WhatsApp groups in which you find yourself. That is the way you support us. And that is the support you're going to appreciate. Why not share our videos on Facebook as well? So you find all of this there and don't forget to subscribe yourself. And if you subscribe, don't click on the notifications. It's just like um, eating rice without stew because when we load a video, you will not be notified. So subscribe one, two, click on notifications. Thank you so much and stay tuned. We wish you the best as you prepare for the examinations, GCE, maths, panel.